Well, the challenge of working with any director is to establish a rapport and a working relationship. I don't know about here in Europe, but in America and Hollywood, a great deal of lip service is given to the collaborative process, but it's usually ignored, quite frankly. But there are some directors who do honor it. Um, Tom Hooper, who is uh, not the easiest man to work with, but I give him full credit. He really does honor the collaborative process. A director must have an ego, otherwise they wouldn't be a director. But his ego was in service of the project as opposed to being in service of self-aggrandizement. So that's, that's the big thing to find out, whether you can trust the person to really be thinking always of the good of the project as opposed to the good of their career and reputation. I really thought that having made the King's Speech, won the Oscar and two BAFTAs, I would be able to make anything I wanted. All my scripts would get made, how foolish I was. The problem is, I get hired continually, right? But I get hired for the wrong reasons. What they're hiring me for is to have an Oscar-winning writer on the project, which gives it heat, makes it much easier to set up. Once they've got my name on a contract, they really don't want my vision. They don't want a David Seidler script. They want the same old stuff that they always do with my name on it, and that doesn't work out well because that isn't the way I write. I always have to warn my producers, be patient. Once I start writing, I'm usually fairly quick, but it's the getting to the writing stage, doing the research to a degree, but really thinking, what, what is the movie about? What's it really about? Not the story. It's easy to say, well, you know, Joe meets Jill, and they go up the hill, and they fall down, and they live happily ever after. That's, that's the plot. But what is it about? Think very carefully whether you really want to be a writer. I'm serious. It's um, a lot of people love the idea of being a writer. Oh, I'm a film writer, I'm a screenwriter. That sounds great. But they don't actually like the work of writing. Because it's very lonely. The fact you spend a lot of time alone in a room. And you get to know much more about yourself than you really ever wanted to know. So that's a hard part of it. So do you want to be a writer? I've learned the craft of writing. You know, I'm, I'm now about to be 81. So I've been, I've been practicing this for a long time. And I think I've got the craft maybe semi under control. To start, I, mean, I have a good eye. You know, I can take photographs. But to be a director, you have to do much more than that. And I, I really think it would be too much to catch up with. Right now, I'm in the middle of writing a script for Denzel Washington to direct about Miles Davis. I have a wonderful script called Hiding Hussein, which is the true story of the very simple, moral, Kurd not Kurdish, sorry, Iraqi farmer, hunter, living in the headwaters of the Tigris River, who finds himself hiding Saddam Hussein from the Americans for nine months. So those are the type of projects that I've got going right now.